Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with the recipe for chicken stew. Now I first discovered this recipe when I lived in South Carolina. Chicken stew is a milk-based stew with chicken, onions, and canned milk and butter, and it is absolutely delicious. I first had it when my coworker brought it to a potluck. So I'm gonna show you my version of chicken stew. Uh, what I'm gonna do a little bit differently than the original recipe is I'm going to make my own chicken stock. And for that, I'm going to use some onions, some parsley, some celery, and some chicken bouillon. And I will make sure to link the recipe in the description box so that you'll have the exact measurements. Also to my stew, I'm going to add a couple of medium potatoes that I'm gonna chop up, and then also a can of corn that I'm going to drain and add to the stew. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is get my chicken going. So I'm going to add my chicken to a pot along with all my veggies, and then I'll bring you back and show you next steps. So I have my chicken in the pot. As you can see, I've got some bouillon, my onions. Um, I have about six cups of water in there. I've got my celery and parsley. Um, if you decide not to make your own stock, then you're gonna wanna boil your chicken in about six cups of chicken broth. And I am using about three and a half pounds of chicken pieces. I have a preference for dark meat, so that's what I'm using. You can use chicken breast if you want or a whole chicken, but I would definitely recommend that you use bone-in chicken in order to get that flavor. So I'm gonna cover this and let it cook, and then I will come back and show you next steps. So I let my chicken cook and then I shredded it. And that's the important step about chicken stew is that you really want to shred your meat. You don't want it to be in chunks. So I shredded it and then I strained the chicken stock. So now I'm going to add the chicken stock back in. And if you were making just the traditional I'm just turning up my heat a little bit to a medium. If you were making a traditional chicken stew, at this point you would add a large or medium onion, you would dice it up very finely, you would add it in here, and then you would add your canned milk. Um, chicken stew is kind of like chicken and dressing or turkey and dressing. Everyone does it a little bit differently. So the way that my former coworker used to do it was just with the chicken broth, the onion and then she would add in some canned milk and some Cajun seasoning. Like I said, mine has a little bit of a twist. So I, and butter, I forgot, you add a stick of butter. So I've got my chicken broth in here, or stock in here. I've got my chicken, I'm gonna add my canned milk. So that's in there. And I'm going to add a can of drained regular corn. Going to add in my potatoes, and I'm using two potatoes. You can use less or, like I said, none. Just whatever your preference is. And then you're going to add in your stick of butter. And you're just gonna let this simmer until the potatoes are done. So about 30 or 40 minutes. So I will come back and show you what it looks like. So here is the chicken stew. I let it cook for about 45 minutes or just until your potatoes are fork tender. So here it is. And this is not a thick stew. So don't expect it to be a thick stew because it's not, but it is very, very rich. Um, you know, it has that one full stick of butter and you don't wanna use margarine in this. You do wanna use the butter. You can see the butter floating um, in there. So it does have all the butter in there and it has the um, canned milk and I forgot to show you 
um, that I did add some Cajun seasoning to it. My coworker used to add Cajun seasoning to hers. Um, and this is a brand that we like, Slap Your Mama. People traditionally, traditionally eat this with crackers um, and then they sprinkle hot sauce in it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.